Okay, I finally made it to Custer State Park. I'm in the day reservation area. In other words, you just drive up there a reservation board there and a, a phone. It's called uh, Center Lake and uh, I'm not really sure how far I am away from everything because I haven't really gone out and looked. But um, yeah, this is where we'll be. I'll give you all more in depth view of the campground. But for now, I'm going to go see if I can find some Wi-Fi. I don't have phone service here. I don't have Wi-Fi. I don't have uh, TV, uh, nothing. They do have the uh, phone where you make reservations up there at the top of the hill. You can also use it for 911. But other than that, you know, it was packed last night, but now it's kind of empty. But I'll give you all a brief show. No electricity, no water. They do have spigots if you want to fill your jugs up. But other than that, it's just primitive camping a boondocking not a whole lot of sun out today so i don't think i'll be making a whole lot of solar so i'm gonna figure out something there but here i'll show you my campsite i'm in site 51 on the upper loop see it's i mean just your basic i'm trying to get solar but last night it was pretty packed but tonight it's pretty today's pretty empty but yeah, there you go. That's me. That's me and Janie, little man. There's the little man right there walking around. And there he goes. Okay, there's why everybody comes to Custard State Park. That's a little bit of a herd. I'm standing outside, but I'm pretty quick. I can get back in my car if needed to. But this is called the wildlife loop. And this is why everybody comes here. Buffalo and the burrows and the prairie, uh, prairie dogs I reckon but there we go look at the countryside isn't that beautiful it really is that's all they do all day is eat I'm just kind of out and about today because I can't get no solar so I went by James Jane's campsite and she's got power so I plugged in one of my power packs there but I'm on the wildlife loop and what it is it's where the donkeys or their barrels hang out and the buffalo but I mean look at the scenery here in South Dakota it is beautiful this is one of, this is one of my favorite parks right here to me it's just it's beautiful this like I said you know I've been here so many times you know I try to get here at least once a year and it's just a beautiful park so if y'all ever get a chance you might want to come check this one out Custer State Park South Dakota and then after this you can jump over to Wyoming and go to Yellowstone if you like but yep beautiful Guess he's going to the gift shop. <laughs> and they're friendly, ain't they? <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. I don't have anything to eat. This one right here kind of friendly <laughs> he's following me <laughs> yeah he thinks you will give him something to eat and i think he figures yeah cute i ain't got you following me <laughs> they like kids <laughs> okay. okay i guess this is a legion center um I'm trying to find the gift shop, but pretty cool. Got all kind of information on the bisons. A lot of good information. I guess this is one place you'd like to check out. Check that up there. Wow. <laughs> Pretty wicked looking. Just a whole lot of information. I'm still riding along the wildlife look, but look at that view. 
That's the Norman Rockwell view right there. That is beautiful. It is so pretty out here. You, you have to come out here to really see how pretty it is. But it's gorgeous. It really is. I'm looking for some place to buy gas because I stopped in one of the stores and they said gas in the park is over five dollars close to 525 a gallon so i think what i'm gonna do is run over to custards and fill up because i know i'll burn a tank of gas up running around this park so that's something to think about if y'all come here you might want to make sure you got a full tank because you could burn some gas running around because this park is really big and it's really so beautiful so just a word of advice gas up i just thought this was cool so i wanted to get a shot of it but yep custard South Dakota. Okay, another day. Me and little man got a lot done today. Went into Rapid City and got the oil change in Subaru. Got the tires rotated. Went by church and picked me up some wood with a donation. Uh, pretty good deal. Got ten good sticks. Cause here in the park, you you pay six bucks, seven bucks, and you get like four pieces of kindling. What it boils down to, so. It's a church as you're going into Custer, it's first church on your right. They have a stack of wood there and just give them donations. So I, I took about 10 sticks and gave them 10 bucks, but we got a fire going. I'll show you around the campground a little bit. There, I got my fire going. I got my baby next to me in his stroller, but I don't want to wake up with a sleeping giant, but it's a real pretty campground. I mean, look around. Beautiful. It really is. Pretty full for the most part. I mean, there's a few empty sites, but not many. As you see, pretty full. There's my little setup right there, me and my little man. But yeah, they got solar panels out right there too. But the guys right there on bikes, they're hauling the trailers behind their bikes. But yeah, just another night. Get up tomorrow morning. Got some uh, company coming in and uh, spend some time with them and I got about two or three more days here so I'm just gonna kick back and enjoy it and figure out where I'm going from here so y'all just keep following along and you'll see where I end up at.